Hey there, I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate. And today we're taking a look at Storm Chasers by Petros Games. Storm Chasers is a game that's going to be running on Kickstarter in the near future, so make sure to check the link down below after you watch our playthrough video. In Storm Chasers, you are a storm chaser, chasing after uh, the perfect shots of tornadoes and lightning strikes, being careful not to get hit yourself. We're set up for a two-player game down below, so let's go ahead and take an overhead view. Okay, so as you can see, we are set up here for a two-player game. I am going to be the blue player right here in the blue car, and Sam? I will be the purple player. Okay, and you do have to start on one of the corner pieces. Uh, real quick, we're not gonna just go over all the rules here, but just enough so that you can sort of understand what we're doing here. We are trying to be as close to tornadoes or lightning strikes as they happen because that will earn us money. Uh, and tornadoes happen on the green spaces, the green tiles following the arrows. And lightning strikes happen on the darker blue tiles that have lightning icons on them. On our turn, we are going to uh, do four actions, which could be to move to an adjacent tile. Uh, rotate the green tiles to try to make tornadoes follow a straight line. Uh, flip a tile over, however, that's going to cost two actions to do that. Uh, we can play a card for actions. We can uh, clear these uh, assignment cards, which are uh, ways to earn additional income if we fulfill what is on the cards, what's written there. Uh, and uh, we can clear out rubble for money. Rubble starts on the tile in which a tornado starts on, and uh, that is a way for us to get additional money. We play six rounds. This is our round marker here. I do also want to make sure to let you guys know that everything you see here is prototype. The final artwork and components may look different when the uh, final game is released. With that all being said, I'll go ahead and start. I have my first three cards in hand and I can take my four actions. I am going to go one, two, and three, four, and I will leave the arrows pointed up. I now play a card from my hand to do a storm. And I'm going to play this card that says channel seven, which means uh, tile seven. And since it's on the green side, it will be a tornado. And we'll put a rubble token on there. The tornado is going to go this way and then off the board. It touched two tiles that I'm adjacent to. So I'll get one dollar each for a total of two dollars. And I draw back up to three. And Sam, your turn. One, two, three. Rotate it, and then I'm going to play this card. So it's going to correspond to the tile eight there, which is a green tornado side. And so a tornado starts on tile eight, and one, two, three adjacent to you. So you'll get three dollars for that. And I am adjacent to two of those tiles, so I will get two dollars. Give me four dollars. I'll give you four. No, sorry for that. And uh, draw another card to get back up to three. And we move the tracker down, and it's round two now. And I'm going to clear this for one. It's two dollars. Two three, four, and I'm going to play a lightning strike card, which means lightning is going to strike on all the blue tiles, and I'm adjacent to four of them, so I will get four dollars. I'm going to put back a one and get a five, and Sam, you are on a blue tile, so you're going to lose two dollars. And now it's your turn. So clearing the rubble, that's good for three dollars. So that was one, uh -huh. two, three, four. Okay. 
I'm gonna play that one. Yep, okay. And so Tornado is gonna start on tile two here and it follows the arrow, so it just goes off the board and that'll give you a dollar. And draw a new card. And we're on round three. Now, we didn't uh, mention what our uh, assignment cards are over here. I don't know if it's clear enough for you guys to read at home, but this top one says, clear four rubble, we'll get three income for that. Make a tornado hit tiles six, seven, 10, and 11, we'll get four income for that. And this says, activate a tornado that travels five tiles, and you'll get one income for that. So. It is my turn, and I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to have it pointed that way, so that was two. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to play channel 11. And so Tornado will touch down here, and it's going to go one, two off the board. So I'll get three dollars or two dollars there because I'm only adjacent to those two. And Sam, you're adjacent to all three, so I actually did you a favor there. Um, your turn. So can I clear both of those? You can. And that's two. Yep, that'll be two actions. So that was one dollar on that one, and that was two dollars on that one. So you have two more actions. Do I have to be on this one to rotate it? Nope, you just have to be adjacent to it. So that one up, and then this one went that yep. way. Mm -hmm. So that's three. You've got one more action left. Do I have to take that another action? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Okay. Five, seven. Tile seven. So tornado is going to touch down here. And it'll go there, there, off the board. So you'll get $3. And I will get $2. And did you draw a new card? Okay. So we're on round four. And I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to clear this off for four. It's a dollar. And then I'm going to play channel 10, which will go one, two, three, four, five off the board, which gives me special assignment touchdown for one income. And I will get five dollars. Oh. So we're on, when you share a tile, you split the income. You split the income rounded down. So five divided by two is two and a half. So I'll get two and Sam, you will get two. And then we will refill that up. And that says special assignment training day. Make a tornado hit tile two and three plus one income for that. Your turn. I'm going to put this one. Okay. And you can point it in whatever direction you want. Okay. How, and can I can turn this? Yep. For, mm -hmm. that's just 90 me. degrees. So like this? Yep. So that yeah. was three. You got one more action. If I could only move one. Unless you have a card that lets you do more. I can switch positions with another player. <laughs> That's not too helpful. Activate the top two storms from the storm deck. So that would mean these two? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I don't know. It's a risk. I know. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move here. Okay. <laughs> and now play. you're going to play a storm. Play five. Play five. 
You're going to get hit. No, I'm not. <clears throat> yeah. How? Because the tornado starts here. Yeah. And it's going to go there, there, there. Oh, I'm going to get yeah. hit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's no. why it was taking me so long no, to figure it you out. You rotated that one. Okay, so yeah. it's going to go... Uh, so you're going to be adjacent to three of those, so you will get three dollars. Here, let's, uh, give me two, and I'll give you a five. Put them in there. Um, I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five. Hitting me will actually cost one, two, three, four, five. But, I'm gonna avoid a storm. I can play this anytime. I do not earn income, but I don't lose income either. And I get this one because I hit 6, 7, 10, and 11. You did. That's what I was trying you to You did. So that gave you four income there. Yeah. And uh, go ahead and draw your, your new card. And then we'll replace it. And it's a special assignment. Lightning never strikes twat. <laughs> Activate a tornado on a tile that currently has a rebel token. Okay. And uh, so we are on the fifth round. I draw a card up. And so this is our first one of these. Immediately do the following steps. Take the top three numbered storm cards from the top of the discard pile. So we have eight, five, and ten. So eight, five, and ten. We're going to flip the corresponding tiles. So. Ten. Eight. Eight and five. Do I still keep Yeah. Mm hmm And then we place these on the bottom of the discard pile and continue play as normal. And I will draw back up to three. And, oh, I guess I shouldn't show that off to you guys. Mm -hmm. That's for me. Uh, let's see here. What am I going to do? I don't want you to get four rubble and get another card. So I'm going to take this for one and it's worth a dollar. And then, so that was one, two, three. Four. Ugh. Okay. So those are my four. And I'm going to play a lightning card. So all the lightning tiles are going to strike. And I'm adjacent to five of them. So I'm going to get five dollars. Sam, you're adjacent to one. So you'll get one dollar. And that is my turn. Well... Alright, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to switch positions with you. Okay, alright. So we're switching spots. So that's one. Uh-huh. Two. Oh, no. <laughs> Not two. No, that's one. Okay, I'm going to flip this one. Two, three. Four. Okay. And I'm going to start a tornado on 12. So it's going to go here, there, 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 off the board. <laughs> oh, crap. Can I do anything about this? I, I can't. All right. So you're going to get two dollars, and I'm going to lose one, two, three, four dollars. No, I lose five dollars. Scratch that. So I'm going to lose one of these five pieces here. That stinks. All right, and this is our last round of the game. Oh, and you, uh, you get to claim that too because you made a tornado hit tiles two and three. So we have a new one come out. Special assignment, wait, was it you I lent my queen cassette? Activate a tornado that travels across seven tiles. Three income for that. 
Ah, oh, man, that feels like that's really hard to do. Hmm. Gosh darn it. I need one more action. All right. I'm going to rotate this one, two, three, and that's it. I'm not going to do my fourth action. Okay, you going to do a card? Yep. I'm going to start a tornado on 15. And so it's going to give you $3, Sam. And it's going to go give me uh, one, two, three, four, five dollars. And it didn't quite get seven. I got six tiles. So that is that. Can we move diagonal? You can. Okay. Your turn. Go one, two. Nope, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> you don't have to be adjacent to it to start the tornado there, right? No. Like I could start a tornado at three if I right. wanted to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you have to be close to it to flip it over. Yes, that is true. Now, to get money from the tornado, you want to be close yeah. to it. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Agonizing. And if you're on the tile that starts the tornado, then you're going to lose a dollar. Okay. The tornado is still going to keep going. Okay. But since you're, it would only have traveled one tile when it hits you, you lose one dollar. Okay. Yeah. So that was two. And I'm going to flip it. Flip it for three, four. Okay, and you got it pointed the right way? Yep. No. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Okay, so tornado touches down on you so you're gonna lose a dollar however you're going to get one two three dollars so just two, two dollars is the difference there uh i will get one two three four five dollars but <laughs> one two three four five six seven is going to give you that card there and that is that so it is the end of the game now we're going to count up all of our coins, all of our rubble income, and all of our assignments. I couldn't have used this, right, because I'd already used my four. Right, yep, yeah, that's not an any time card. You'd have to use it as an action. All right, so go ahead and count up your, your money, Sam. You counted longer than me, so I don't think I'm going to win this. 29. 35. Oh, it wasn't even close. Yeah, I was feeling like you, you had this one in the bag. So, all right, 20, 29 to 35 is the final score. Sam, the purple Cadillac there is the winner. Now we're going to go back up top. Well, that was a two-player playthrough of Storm Chaser by Petros Games. And the gamer got whooped this time, so shucks. <laughs> Hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of how this game works, how it plays out, and uh, you could see how it worked with a non-gamer. So uh, check out the link in the bottom of the description to check out the campaign, the Kickstarter campaign page for this game. It uh, is on Kickstarter right now, so be sure to do that. Make sure to like and subscribe, push that bell button to get notifications, and check out our website as well. All right, I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.